Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you had a great day yesterday and that today will be a great day as well. Today our story for the day is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Maybe your teacher, Miss Ayuko, can find this book for you. This book was a very favorite with my granddaughters when they were little. And many American children love this story. So the very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but was still hungry. One pear, two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still still hungry. One strawberry, two strawberries, three strawberries, four strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, and one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, He had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Now he was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. He was a beautiful butterfly. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. Have a great day. Bye-bye.